welcome back guys so in this video let us take a look at the um, the best custom pc build you can get under 40,000 rupees um, this of course does not include the gpu but we're going to use an ryzen apu called the 5600g and this has six cores and 12 threads and it cost me around 12,000 rupees which was the lowest in the cell and uh, it's quite good for an apu as uh, it has a built-in vega 7 graphics which does most of the heavy lifting and we need to pair it up with a good dual uh, ram with the in dual channel so this one i got of kingston 8 gb and it's clocked a little higher at 3600 megahertz so i have invested that gpu money in some places where it can be more beneficial for the processor so i've got 8 gb into 2 then i've got a 1 tb nvme ssd from the crucial and this also i could have gone with the 512 gb but i wanted a good uh, storage availability for the motherboard i went with the gigabyte b450 m ds3h and wi-fi variant and there is not much difference between the non-wi-fi and wi-fi so i suggest you go with the wi-fi version and it's also ryzen 5000 series so there's no need for bios update and it has four ram slots and uh, supports 3.1 pci uh, nvme as well so faster speeds and also our cpu only supports pci gen 3 and so the motherboard is uh, very much suitable for it and for the power supply i went with the deep cool 650 watt uh, 80 plus bronze certified power supply and i actually ordered a 550 watt PSU but uh, that got uh, out of stock and the delivery time was over a month and uh, the price difference wasn't much as it was in sale and uh, this one future proofs the build a bit so I can get a higher uh, graphics card in the future if I ever wanted to and uh, all the other components are actually really uh, go well with this build and I have not compromised other than the GPU it uh, um, actually supports the CPU really well and finally coming to the cabinet i have the ant esports uh, ice 311 mt and it has a really good quality build and uh, you can see the it has tempered glass on this side and a metal grill on the front with three fans so it's really good for the ventilation to keep you all the components inside cool and on the top you have the two usb ports and an rgb button as well and we have a mesh a magnetic dust filter you can attach fan as well on the top so overall a really nice cabinet for the price so these are the components used in this pc build with an alternate option if you choose to substitute some of the components for a lower spec one and uh, finally let's get on to the performance test of the pc build so the only game that i tried is the gta 5 and it's set to 1080p resolution and the advanced graphics settings are off and it's giving me close to 60 fps with some drops so average fps of uh, 55 plus uh, which i think is not bad at all because uh, um, from my laptop is uh, quite a huge upgrade so nice to be able to play in 1080p and close to 60 fps uh, performance and the next is the DaVinci Resolve that I use to edit video and I'm gonna render a 6 minute full HD video with a lot of clips and stitch them together so let's see how much time it takes so I'm gonna speed up and uh, it took uh, close to 3 minutes to render the full video and you can see the video size it's about 1.5 GB so not a bad performer at all even it comes to editing and so that was the performance aspect of the uh, this pc build under 40,000. and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one